Yo guys, it's Oli here today. We are back with another FC25 video. It is 6pm on Black Friday. Uh, we've had a lot of content already. Obviously yesterday we had the Best of Campaign release on the packs with some Flash Evils. The day before that we had Best of Team of the Week. The Thunstruck team released at 2pm today. While I was reacting to the new Juice World album, which will be on Patreon. Uh, I've had a Patreon for about a year now. But the only thing I uploaded on it was my, me reacting to the Modern Warfare 3 campaign from last year. Um, because I got Modern Warfare 2 and then only played the campaign, so I didn't want to waste my money again. So instead I reacted to it and uploaded it on the Patreon to you know, avoid copyright and whatever. Um, but the reaction to the Juice World album, it, The Party Never Ends, is on Patreon now when you're watching this. So I'll, I'll try and remember to link it in the description. But it's just Oli Tatty on Patreon. Uh, it's just £1 a month, which is super affordable. Um, you know, uh, I made it as cheap as I could. And I'm probably going to do album and movie reactions. Like, uh, music and movie reactions over there. I should say. Because um, I set myself... My New Year's resolution this year was to listen to 100 albums. Uh, 100 new albums. And I've done about 70 odd. Um, but I think I'm probably going to start reacting to some more. I'm, I'll, I'll probably won't do all of them, but yeah, I'll react to them and put them on Patreon, you know, so I can avoid copyright and you can get exclusive content over there. And I think next year I'm going to try and do 100 movies because my flat miss taking the mick out of me not having watched many movies. So I'll be sure to watch out for that. Again, £1 a month, super affordable. Um, I'll link it in the description if I can remember. But yeah, I'll be tech Patreon. Anyway. Uh, I've had to record that twice because my recording crashed but we have new content Black Friday Rush Event Bonus Objective got Rush content which isn't really it's not really relevant 8 5 by 2 I don't think anyone cares enough to play Rush for that we have a lot of content um, Black Friday Daily Play Games Okay, play five games every day. That's, that's not bad to be fair. Quite a lot of packs. We've got the Daily Logan Completionist, Daily Player Completionist. Again, just good packs. Do that for a week. Thunderstruck Kim and Jay. This could be a good card. Probably get upgrades because buying a back this year because Leverkusen is stinky. Um, six foot three, two star, three star centre back. Decent passing, decent dribbling. It's not the best, but it's not awful. Very good defender, physical and pace man. You see, eligible for a plus one, two new player styles and two new role pluses. He's got intercept plus, block, slide tackle, power header, aerial. And I'm not quite sure how he's going to get two role pluses. Because he's already got a role plus in every available position. And if they did what I thought they were going to do with other Thunderstruck items and just add the pluses on elsewhere, then he'll have a role plus plus in every position. So I'm not quite sure how they're going to add the role pluses in, into Kim and Jay if he does get the upgrades, but there you go. Uh, concede no more than 1 in 3, score 10 with Bundesliga, play 7 with 3 Bundesliga, win 5 with 3 Bundesliga. Not bad. No XP available throughout any of that, which is interesting. Any milestone? Probably not, but you know, it doesn't hurt to check. Nope. Uh, we'll check SBCs, then Evolutions, because Evolutions best part of the game. The only reason anyone keeps coming back. We have Bakayo Saka, who dropped earlier, but I haven't looked at him yet. 4 star, 4 star. Right winger, right mid. Very good dribbling, decent passing, good shooting, good physicals, good pace. Probably going to get the upgrades. Finesse shot plus, whip pass. Really nice dribbling play styles. He's got inside forward plus plus at right wing. It's a very good card, but he is very expensive. I've seen the price. 288, 287s, 386s, an 85 and an 84. Quite expensive. There's also Vidi Junior Player of the Month who already has a better card, I want to say. Yeah, he's 48. No. And you can do it if you want, if you haven't got um, a tradable Vinny Junior, but yeah, that's just a mental price in it. Because there is a tradable Vinny Junior. Okay, no player SP 6 pm, which is interesting. An upgrade, perhaps. Dealing login. Do not forget it, or you will regret it. Uh, we're going to put in the boy Berisha in there from Kosovo. H4 double combo upgrade. H4 eight squad. That's that. 
two eighty fours and three seventy fives. Uh, eighty four plus player pick of mine. Eighty four X squad. It's just it's not the best value, is it? Eighty five combo grade. Eighty four X squad with an eighty five. So that's not too bad. That's a uh, three eighties and an eighty five. Apparently this triple eight three upgrades not bad according to Adam Penthes, but it looks kind of bad. See a lot of upgrades in there. Eighty three plus team of the week upgrade. Um, eighty three rate squad with four eighty fours. In my opinion, apart from the Dylan Logan upgrade, absolutely none of these are worth it. All poor value to be honest. There's um flash challenges there I guess. There we go, we have Johan Krauf uh, on this day icon, who is 88 rated, which is a bit of a disservice to Krauf, but it's cool that other people can get these cards. Why has everyone got less days than Varon, when Varon was literally the first icon that dropped? I don't understand. Anyway, well, and a special on this day, Johan Krauf, celebrating his six goal performance against AZ Alkmaar on November 29th, 1970. Five star, five star, can striker. Really nice dribbling apart from balance, good passing, very good shooting, good pace, decent physicals. Tiki Taka Plus is alright, but you know, you'd know you rather technical, which he doesn't even have silver. Uh, Playmaker Plus Plus I can. Bronze Silver, 83 for the loan. Goes all the way up to 388 rate squads. Not too bad for a Cruyff, but then again it's an 88 rated Cruyff, which isn't ideal. Um, if you're after any of these, obviously you should be playing champs, rivals, squad battles, whatever. Evolutions. This is the good part of the game. The one good part of the game. Okay, so it's in flash evos, probably. Yeah. Okay, we have another speed burst. Yeah, no, wait, no. They were there before. It's the other three stats. Who would have guessed they were coming? So we have full force, which boosts physical by... How much? If we get a... Try and find a low physical player. 67. Boosts physical by 10. Gives bruiser plus, relentless. That's for three games. Defense first, which is, I imagine, 10 defending. So if we grab Jimenez here. Does he go to 62? Wow, he does. So he gets 10 defending and anticipate for 3 games. No, it, like, that's the reward for 3 games. And elusive dribbler. Let me guess. 10 dribbling? If we'll get someone who can't dribble real quick. Um, we don't... We don't have that. Um, hello? Hello? John, uh, no, she's still a decent dribbler. Do you have a centre back anywhere? Hello? 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 Screw it, go a lot of high. Well, McCabe, 66 dribbling, 10 dribbling, plus one skill moves and flair. Very nice. So you could be, you could put one player through every single one of these. And get yourself a plus 10 to everything. With only a 6 rating boost. So that's not actually that bad. Because it's just plus 1 rating each time. So yeah, it's not too bad. <clears throat> There's some good plays you could probably put this on. Boost up there, dribbling. Um, like it's useless putting a Warby in because it's max 87. So To get the full effect, you'd want someone with 77 dribbling or lower. Um, yeah. There's salmon here. Not too bad. That's it, isn't it? It's it's just that, really. There, no, there is new Thunderstruck players in packs, I believe. They did say they were going to put more in packs, so... I'm not going to go over the ones that were already in packs. Just watching a Panthers a video in it. Uh, we have Ekatike. He's new. Uh, four star, three star, six foot two. Striker. Decent dribbling. Good shooting. Not the best passing. Fast. Decent physicals, uh, rapid plus, technical finesse, aerial, advanced forward plus plus. You have Dodo, uh, I imagine he'll be extinct on the market. Uh, three, th three star, three star, 
five foot five right back do you really want a five foot five right back if you do this is the man for you it's got whip pass rapid intercept and jockey wing back plus plus um julian ryerson borussia dortmund uh three star four star six foot right back left back decent pace passing there's pass, something to be desired uh, dribble gun's alright, defending's good, man. Defending's quite good. Physical's good. No playstyle plus, but he's got anticipate, intercept, jockey, whipped pass, technical, and relentless. Wing back plus plus at right back. Um, the goal is back. Chris Fulich. Fulich? Chris Fulich. Five star, four star. Left mid, left wing, cam. Insane dribbling, like he did last year on his foot uh, fantasy card. Decent shooting, good passing, good pace, decent physicals. Technical, I wish you had technical plus like you did last year in his fantasy card. Traveller plus, rapid flare, first touch and whipped pass. He's got winger plus plus at less mid. I might have to purchase him. We have Teji Savanier. He'll be OP as hell on Madfoot. Uh, four star, five star, can certain mid. Really nice dribbling, really nice passing, decent shooting, decent defending, and all honesty. Good physicals, good pace. Long, uh, long ball pass plus, dead ball from a shot, incisive pass, first touch, and Traveller. He's got playmaker plus plus at Cam. Nice! We have Alessandro Buongiorno. 6'3, 2 star, 3 star, centre back. Decent pace, decent passing, a bit weird dribbling. Uh, good defending though, good physicals. A uh, real plus, which is insane. A stopper plus plus as a roll. Four out of the six defensive um, things. You know, in, in you, you have a place our plus, which is kind of cool, I guess. Is Elise in you? I don't think he is. But there's his card anyway. Isak is new. Isak is definitely new. Four star, five star, six foot four, just striker. Real nice dribbling, real nice shooting, real nice pace. Good physicals. Finesse shot plus, technical, rapid, flirt, uh, first touch, and Travella. Advanced forward plus plus out striker. We have Fede Valverde. Four star, four star, six foot, centre mid, CDM, right mid. Good dribbling, good defending, good physicals, good passing, good shooting, good pace. Good play styles. Playmaker plus plus at centre mid. Good card. Philip Walter Foden, four star, four star, five foot seven, right mid, right wing, can left wing. Very good dribbling. Wow, insane dribbling. Good passing. Really good shooting. This is an unreal card. It was actually unreal. Technical plus, finesse shot, pinged pass. Yeah, whipped pass, flirt, first touch, and quick step. Inside forward plus plus at right wing. Nice. And that's that for regular players. Icons. Rooney and Zico, I believe in you. Uh, Wayne Rooney. Um, I hope Pie Face packs this card. I, I, I imagine he would really want it, considering he's a manager of his football club. Not for much longer. Four star, four star, five foot nine, striker and cam. Good passing, good dribbling, very good shooting, very good pace, very good physicals. Power shot, chip shot, finesse shot, long ball pass, relentless, Traveller, acrobatic, advanced forward, plus plus out striker. And Zico, Arthur Atunes Coimbra, as he's more commonly known to his family and friends. Four, five star, five star, cam centre mid, real nice dribbling, real nice, that is an unreal card, wow. Played for Flamengo, the shirt I've got on right now, uh, for 14 years, 16 years, wow. And Kashima Adlers as well. Uh, technical plus, ping pass, no, uh, incisive pass, tiki taka, dead ball, flirt, Traveller. And playmaker plus plus. I believe that is everything that we care about. So if, if you had a player that was like 70 ish rated, you would get him a plus 10 on all attributes. Um, with just a plus 6 rating. So you can spread it out across players as well, which probably makes more sense. Or you can put it on Ferland Mendy. You can put everything on Ferland Mendy. In game 87 defending, 87 dribbling, 
eight nine pace, eighty five physical, which is eight six rated. Middlesbrough are keen on Louis Barry. Get in. Cross about a million coins. Yep. Yes, it's just the shite upgrades and the mini release. Well, that is that. That is it for Black Friday. I hope you guys are having a good Black Friday. I'm having a good Black Friday. FIFA. 